Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be showing you a really cool program called Dropbox, which basically you put your files into there and it automatically syncs to the Dropbox servers where say if you're moving to a different computer and you do not want to move all your important files like videos, pictures, and music, all that stuff to a different um, computer without, uh, it'll just basically sync it to the Dropbox server. So Dropbox is actually very easy to use and it's free. All free users get two gigabytes of storage on their Dropbox server. So on Dropbox.com, I'll put the link in the description for you. Um, go ahead and click download. Go ahead and click dro uh, download Dropbox here. You can see it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So here, you want to uh, go ahead and click the download Dropbox right here, and then click the desktop. Save it to your desktop wherever. Um, and go ahead and click save. And once you have it downloaded, um, just go ahead and minimize your web browser, or whatever, and open up the installer. So now that we have the installer open, um, let's go ahead and click install, and then Dropbox will start installing itself. We will wait, and then we can wait for the Dropbox to be installed. I'll pause the video until it's done. Okay, now we have completed our Dropbox setup, and it will come up with another window pretty soon asking to uh, configure our account. And here is that window right now. And if you do have a Dropbox account, then you can go ahead and click Next for that, and then log in with your stuff here. But since we don't have an account right now, let's go ahead and click Next. Um, right now, uh, you can type your name, say Test account then your email test or whatever I'm just using made up stuff let's just make the password wherever you want and it will say your computer name right here and by going by agreeing you will be um, accepting their terms of service but whoever reads that anyway right so go ahead and click next and then that will go ahead and uh, create your Dropbox since Alright, now since you created your Dropbox account, reopen Dropbox and click this I already have a Dropbox account. So, and type in your stuff here and then uh, click next. So after you enter all your ad account information, it will ask you if you would like to upgrade your Dropbox account. Since all users get a free 2GB storage on their server, um, you don't really want you don't really need to do that if you don't want to but if you want more storage you can go ahead and click one of these but for now we're just going to stick with the free account so go ahead and click next then we'll, we'll just do a typical install for now then just go ahead and click install and you can go through this tour if you would like to all that stuff but you can do that on your own so we'll just click the skip tour and that is it so uh, you can check this open my Dropbox folder now, which will be defaulted to yes. So let's go ahead and click finish. So once we get it all installed, it will say that we have been linked to Dropbox. And let's go ahead and close this window off here. So here is your Dropbox folder. Usually it will be in your My Documents folder, but then you can move it out to your desktop if you would like to. It might be on your desktop, but whatever. So say if we have a picture here and here is our picture say we want to put that on our Dropbox account so we can access it anywhere we want so let's go ahead and drag this into our drop actually let's open that up first let's go ahead and drag this into our Dropbox folder and you can see that uh, it is already linked to your Dropbox uh, site so you can access these files online from anywhere without having to have the Dropbox the actual Dropbox program. So to do this, we will click login and type all your stuff here. So once you log in, you will be prompted with this get started page. So to access your files, we will click the files uh, tab right here and we can see that our new file, our picture is right here. So if you want to download this, we will uh, select it here. 
and then go over to this little drop down and then go over to download file and then we'll be able to save this wherever we want go ahead and click save and you can see here is our our brand new file so that's basically the basics of Dropbox um, I might have a few more videos on it later but that's basically the basics for now it's a very nice program to have around <coughs> so uh, I'll see you guys later